Welcome back students to Affiliate Marketing University, the complete 2020 guide to affiliate marketing, product and affiliate selection. Selecting a good affiliate product is a significant key when starting an affiliate marketing business. One of the most common terms you will hear in the affiliate marketing industry is evergreen product, which is a product that will sell well regardless of the time of year, economic status, or other variable. If you can find an evergreen product, then congratulations. You found a product that may sustain your business for a very long time. Evergreen products include things that people are willing to sell regardless of circumstances, like weight loss products, relationship info products, beauty products, and making money online products. People are always willing to pay for these. While picking a few evergreen products is important, it can also be very profitable to jump in on a fad, a trend, while it's selling hot. Your evergreen products should be your safety net, while trendy items that are selling well within your niche should have the intention to jump in and cash out quick. This is another reason I recommend keeping the niche of your website fairly broad. Many online toy stores, for example, had great success during the fidget spinner craze. However, once the trend was over, norm normal toy stores had made their profit and escaped the trend safely, while fidget spinner stores that were solely exclusively selling fidget spinners were totally out of luck and out of business. It's important not to build your store around a trend or niche. Otherwise, you should expect your income and store to stop generating profits as soon as that trend ends. If you choose to have a main affiliate product that your store promotes, it should be an evergreen product. We also recommend ha having seasonal products that will sell better at different times of the year. However, again, we do not recommend basing your store around only one season. For example, if you have a clothing store, you could do seasonal recommendations of swim clothing for the summer, long sleeve clothes for the fall, heavy coats for the winter, and then maybe t-shirts and shorts for the spring, depending on where you're marketing to. This does bring up another good point. We will talk about this more in depth later on, but if you choose to use paid advertising, it's important to consider the weather, culture, and popular trends of the location you're marketing to. Different regions have totally different groups of people, and you never know which group might be a potential customer until you test selling to them. But, like, like I said with the weather, if you live in Arizona, you might, be selling, you might not be selling a lot of long sleeve coats. So the region you're marketing to is very important. But we'll get more in depth in this for the advertising module. But if you do choose to go with a specific season to sell within your store, store, we really recommend not basing your whole store around one season or one product that only sells well during one time of the year. We would rather make this just a second part of our website. And we also don't recommend making what is called a review site. We don't just want to sell one product. This is a website that is solely focused on selling one product. And while it can be profitable temporarily, an item you are selling may eventually fall out of trend. And sites like this don't have much room to grow and scale as content-based branded content does. So we're trying to actually build a brand and become part of the community rather than just cash in and get out quick because it's not as consistent. It's much more just based on luck if you only make one page and it's a, a lot more predictable, consistent, and profitable to build a whole brand and actually become part of the community online. So there's certain signs of a good affiliate company that you should be looking out for when you're looking for an affiliate product to sell to your customers. First of all, you wanna make sure that their website is clean and easy to navigate and doesn't have ads. Uh, customers, are, this is gonna affect the conversion rate of the website that you're going to and not only does your website need to convert well to get people over to the affiliate product, but then their website also has to convert well. So you have to make sure they have a good website. Also make sure the product itself is really good. Just check that it has high product reviews on other websites and other places it's being sold. You're going to want to make sure you're making at least a $10, $10 per commission. And I recommend much higher than this, but minimum of $10. Otherwise, you're really wasting your time. And to test their customer service, try sending them an email. And if they get back within a few days, their customer service is likely handled very well. And if possible, look for companies with high ticket products. Every niche has a high ticket product and something you can make a big commission rate back on. So you wanna be looking for these high ticket products within your niche.
Here are some examples of good affiliate companies to work with, and these are just the basics. But ClickBank, this has been in business for a really long time. They sell a wide range of courses and other online affiliate products and services. Their commission rates normally pay very well. There's Amazon, and Amazon's affiliate system is one of the most popular, and it really is just because Amazon is so good at selling. Once you get someone to their website, even if they don't buy your product and they buy something else from the link that you sent them to Amazon, you will still get a commission rate. And their commission rates are pretty low, but it still converts so well that it's worth being an Amazon affiliate. JVZoo, it sells digital products and software, so if you are in the software niche, this is a good one to use. But overall, there's a ton of affiliate programs and products online that you can promote. You're just going to have to search around and make sure the website looks clean, make sure the customer service is done well, and that the product is good. And make sure their affiliate program has a good commission rate back to you. Uh, but overall, every niche has a ton of affiliate products and companies that will be willing to work with you to sell their product more. High commission versus low commission rate. So a commission rate is an amount of money you receive per sale, and it's usually either determined by a flat rate or percentage of a sale. The higher the commission rate, the more money you make per sale. Now, usually items with a very high commission rate, like 70%, are hard to sell. It's typical for a company to raise the commission rate so they can get more affiliates to sell their product if they're not making many sales as it is. Smaller companies usually pay higher commission rates, while Amazon, for example, pays a lower commission rate. It is easier to make sales on Amazon, though, since people are familiar with it and they convert so well, but you won't be making as much money per sale. Really, you're either going to go with quality of commission rate, so the actual price that they're giving you, you want to make a big commission rate back, or you want to go with a site like Amazon that is going to convert really well and people buy on really easily. It's best to target more significant problems in your audience rather than selling smaller products to make the most money. For example, let's say you're in the barbecue niche. Rather than writing a review on five different spatulas, you're going to want to write a review on a battle between two barbecues. Although you will be making fewer sales selling barbecues, you will likely be making far more money per sale. And it's not wrong to include small products on your website, but if you want to make money fast, it's best to find ways to market larger or more substantial products so your commission rate is bigger. The same thing applies when trying to sell courses or services online. Let's say that you're trying to sell a $20 course with a 75% commission rate. This wouldn't be too bad as you're making $15 per sale. However, a high-end course that costs $1,000 and has a commission rate of 20% would net you $200. And I would argue that making one $1,000 sale is easier than the $14, than $14 $20 sales. And believe it or not, it's all about who you market to and how you market online to make the sale because there's an entirely separate market that is willing to pay $1,000. And the commission rate on a $1,000 product is going to be so much larger than a $20 product. And you can actually sell a high ticket product online if you're marketing to the right audience. But a $1,000 price tag should hold a $1,000 product. I guarantee you that there is an entirely separate online audience that is looking to spend $1,000 or more on a course because they want the end all be all of courses and they want to master whatever they're attempting to learn. It's up to you to be ethical and pick the $1,000 course that holds a $1,000 value. Otherwise, your customers will just refund all their purchases and you won't make any money. Here's some examples of highly profitable affiliate items. So information-based products, are they normally pay back a really good commission rate because there's no production cost on the person that's selling the product. They simply sell it to the customer and they charge a certain amount and that is literally their profit. So they can give you back a really high commission rate on both software and informational-based products. Subscription boxes can have pretty good commission rate. Both electronics, artistic things, and musical equipment all their very high-end products and they cost a lot, so naturally their commission rate is very high and you get a lot of money per sale. Pet houses, toolkits, and bundles, all these different things, they have a lot of components to them and they overall have high price tags, so again, you're going to make a really good commission rate back on them. So again, we're looking for high-ticket items and every niche has some. You're just going to have to do some browsing and looking around to find what is selling well within your niche for a high-ticket price. Review. So what is an evergreen product? What is a seasonal product? 
What are signs of a good affiliate company? High commission versus low commission. What are some examples of highly profitable affiliate products? All right, guys. So now that we've gone over the informational b the informational based piece in this course, let's go over the to do portion. All right, guys. So we're over here on ClickBank, and once you make your affiliate account, you're gonna come over to the marketplace by clicking up here, and you'll be able to start checking out the different offers they have to sell. And for example, we can be in any of these products. Let's say we're in the health and fitness category, and we're looking for a good affiliate offer here. So on ClickBank, what you want to do is be mainly focused on the gravity, and that's what we're going to order it by. And you don't want the gravity to be more than 100 normally, because then your competition is going to be huge. Uh, but if you go down, you want it to be between 40 and 100. So all these products would be really good products to sell. And if you'll notice, a lot of these are within a specific niche. For example, vertigo and dizziness program. This helps people that are feeling dizzy and have vertigo all the time. And they're, they have a huge problem. They feel dizzy. They don't feel good. They're feeling sick. And this product helps them feel better. And the gravity for this product is really good, 92. It's not too competitive, but it's clearly selling well for other people. And don't overcomplicate this right away. What I would focus on is the gravity right now. And also make sure you look at the commission rate, 75%. $38, that's just fine. That's a very good conversion rate. Um, same with 75%. Yeah, all, a lot of health products have really good conversion rates as it is. So go check out ClickBank. Make sure you make your affiliate account. Link to that will be in the description of this video. And now let's go over to Amazon. All right, guys. So once you have your Amazon account, you come over to their page and start looking up with whatever it is within your niche that you're trying to sell. So Let's say you're trying, you're in the cat niche, so we'll look up cat. And when you're on Amazon, you're going to want to find something that's normally at least $50 or more to actually make a, a, good, a good commission rate back on it because Amazon's commission rate is not very high. Uh, so right here, cat towers, that would be a fairly good product because they it normally is $67, but right now it's on sale for $38 and you would still get a fairly high commission rate back on this. So if we click over here, we can look, $38. It has pretty good pretty good ratings. And this right here is $82, $83 would be a good commission rate too, and that has five stars. So you see what I'm saying? Now we found a good niche that you can make a lot of different blogs about, perhaps one on the different materials it should be made out of, if it's how many levels it should be on the different dimensions for what kind of houses what different cats might like different what different kind of beds and toys so this is a pretty saturated market honestly so i would be careful to jump in on the cat niche unless you're willing to niche down very very far but this is just an example of what you should be looking for on amazon just high ratings high ticket products and it i wouldn't go with something that has like 1000 reviews it's better to stay around 100. That way your competition isn't too high if you're going to try targeting the specific product. So here I could actually on my blog literally put pause, roadcad, tree, luxury, cat tower. And I'd be able to rank for people that are searching for this product. And I, if I wanted to do it with this one, I'd probably be competing with a lot of other salespeople. So try sticking around 100 reviews if you're going to include the actual title as a keyword that you're trying to target for your search engine optimization on your website. All right, guys, good job on finishing the to-do portion. All we did here was create an Amazon affiliate and a ClickBank affiliate, and then I'll show you how to find a good product and good affiliate uh, program to use with it or a good affiliate product to use with it. And here is what you just did. You just set up uh, your Amazon affiliate and ClickBank affiliate. I showed you how to pick an affiliate product. And the other things I want you to do is start researching on Ubersuggest different search engine opti optimization tactics that will work well around your product. So when you pick a product, go to Ubersuggest and type in that product title to see how many monthly searches it is getting and what kind of different search phrases you could use and keywords you could use on your blog to rank well on Google to get more organic traffic. Also make sure you research some of the high ticket offers within your niche, search for low ticket offers within your niche, 
Both these can be profitable. We like high ticket offers for the most part, but there's no shame in having a low ticket offer as well. And then also look for untapped affiliate markets. Same thing, you're going to want to use Neil Patel's Uber Suggest and look around in your niche for different problems that people have and different products that are selling well and untapped niche markets. Good job on finishing this module, guys. I will see you in the next module. The next module is going to be one of the most powerful modules we do release. It's going to be our solution funnel sales system, and you guys are going to really love this, and it's going to increase your conversion rates by a ton and help you make a lot more sales online. So we'll get right into it.